from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here at Tommy Mag's place, of course, at my bar and brought to our good friends at the Heritage Capital Group and at Farther. We've got return guests this time around. We're talking family-owned business right here in Jacksonville. Let's welcome in the panel. John Azar is here from Azar Sausage. Good How are back. you, brother? Great, brother. Good, good to be to back. See. You're in the new set. How about that? It's looking good. It's you looking good. Up a little bit. Yeah, I like, like, I like it when I'm seeing yeah. yeah, it's good. <laughs> How's it going, man? Everything's good. Yeah. Business is good. Yeah, uh, I picked man. up some new accounts since our last time we were on the show. Okay, good. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that. But Absolutely. everything, thank God, everything's good. Holidays coming up. People are eating. Oh, the sauce yeah. is so good. There's no doubt about it. Daniel Gillum's back. And you guys are buddies, right, from Farther, of course. Yeah, yeah. We, we go a little way, uh, a little ways back. Okay. And I've actually taken... Uh, <laughs> some some kill over okay. to them and they've uh, yeah, yeah you guys process here yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah they bring it in we'll process it yep. turn it into sausage his meat so yep. however they yep. feed their deer or hogs or whatever yep. so it's a nice thing so remind people John Grandpa started it around World War II Dad took it over then you and your brother yeah a little before World War II okay. yeah started uh, early fifties wow. And then uh, he did it, had a recipe, started out as a grocery store, turned it in. It was selling basically more sauces than anything else. Okay. And then uh, got state inspected, turned it into a sausage company, did that forever. My father came on board. Yep. And you kind of do what your dad does. So uh, we yeah. kind of yeah. fell into it. And uh, he retired. Now me and my brother Phil do it. Yeah. And I'm, so I've, Phil was uh, supposed so to be on the show, for the record. Phil, we yeah. hope you feel better, buddy. Yeah, he was sick. But uh, my nephews <laughs> I mean, and nieces are doing yeah, it. So, nice. yeah. So That's I'm rolling great. solo today. Absolutely. But I got my sidekick here That's from, right. from the past. Yes, it's That's good. right. So I've been to uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Woodsy, on Union Street to your yep. shop. Yep. Uh, how do you know f for sure that every saw? I mean, they come out in these strings. I mean, you just know. Yeah. I mean, it's all automated. Uh, it, it's a lot more automated now. Okay. Uh, up until probably a year and a half ago, okay. we did things the old way. I mean, still shoveling meat, smaller batches. Now, 2023, to yep. do bigger accounts, you have to obviously come up animated. Yep. And then, unfortunately, with the workforce, a lot of people are not working. You have machines do that work. So if right. your crew lays out, you can still get the production there out. You go. Um, everything's pretty uniform. All the machines are going to make everything the same. Yep. Funny enough, we test every batch at the plant. Okay. So we'll cook it up, make yeah. sure everything is good with that. Yep. If something's not right we'll trash that batch we'll start over or yeah. fix it mo most likely fix it so we uh, we do our own quality control right there at the shop yeah and you okay. guys are in Win dixie you're in some Publix. you're yeah. in some local grocery right Win dixie Publix, solomon's solomon's if yeah, yeah they're yeah. they're great they reached uh, out, so yeah, they yeah they you, we, i know a lot of people know carol's another yeah. family-owned business from the past uh rose star yeah. meats and then uh we landed gate so nice. we do, uh, if you're looking for a great biscuit with a sausage patty, mm. they've got those. Mm. And uh, a great, another great Jacksonville family that we're yeah, proud absolutely. to partner with. So yeah, no doubt. The they love the local. Great. They love yeah, the local. No doubt, yeah. man. And you guys have a seasoning company as well. Is that correct? We do. Yeah, it's called Best Southern Seasoning. Okay. Uh, it's online. Yeah. So if you want to make your own sauces, like Daniel was saying, if you actually get meat and want to make it yourself, yep. you can actually call us up. We can send you if you're out of town or you can come by and get it. And their bags are pre-mixed seasoning. Okay. So you can do it yourself. Very very cool. So you've been eating sausage your whole life, like, right? Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Right. It's hard to stay thin yeah, in the meat right. business, right? You look great. <laughs> I take small bites. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> listen, I'm not just saying it. it's phenomenal sausage. I appreciate I've had that. The mild, the hot, yeah. all of them. They're fantastic. What's your favorite dish? with sausage in it that people could be like, hey, I want to try that. Funny enough, the biggest thing in Jacksonville being Southern sausage, tomatoes, and rice. So it's literally that. I mean, you boil down white rice, you got your stewed tomatoes, and then you throw any kind of sausage in it. Okay. Feeds a ton of people. A very yeah. simple Southern meal. Yeah. But it's, it's when it's cold, it's hearty. Puts a little meat and potatoes yeah, on you. Man. But that, that one's good. But yeah. I just love all the different sausage. You know, we did some sausage in green bean casserole. Oh, would be. Oh, That'd be good. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, agree. here with yeah. Thanksgiving. Coming up, yeah, absolutely. Well, you make that. You like making that, don't you? That's yeah. Right. yeah. Well, he knows a guy, so we yeah, can get him know, some sausage. He knows a guy. That's, <laughs> that's absolutely right. I tell you, Dish, we we uh, had it in recently. So we take uh, chicken breast, mm -hmm. uh, cut up sausage, uh, cut up potatoes, cut up onions. Wow. Uh, throw it in the oven, and then top it with green beans. Okay. And it's absolutely incredible. Nice. And and, the, and your sausage, the spice, it just 
trickles Trickle. all the way through. Yeah. Oh man, every bite's got. You Call it the Tommy too. Special. Yeah, that's yeah. that's, uh, that's, that's right. where every party you go to. That's right. I'm gonna have to bring some. Maybe they're gonna all want you to start bringing. So what's the future for Azar? What do you guys? Just we're growing. Like I said, have nephews and nieces looking into that fourth generation. Yep. And we just take it day by day, growing, get new accounts. People love local. Yep. So we're just just seeing what the future holds, but right now everything is good, so Absolutely. we can't complain. Good. Yeah. And you told me this, and I know it's true, that if you're in Northeast Florida or Jacksonville right. and you order sausage at a restaurant, mm -hmm. most likely it's coming from Azar's. Luckily sausage. it is. A lot of people that are born and raised here, town was still small. Yeah. So people know the name of some sort, and uh, we get a lot of people out of town that yeah. will come to a distributor and say, hey, what's a local meat? And they'll bring them down to us, take them on a tour, yeah. show them around, and they, they, the they like it. Yeah, yeah and they like it. So. My Avery's done the tour, my oldest That's right. right? Yeah, it was a good time. That one time. Good time. No doubt about it. All right, well, this is your... Yeah, I, I just great. love hearing the success stories of family I appreciate businesses that. being able because to they don't always go they don't, right. after they the don't. second generation. Sometimes mm -hmm. it falls apart, That's but right. obviously you guys are it does. And then anyway, with family business, one thing I'll say is is it's tough. Me and my brother, we go at it. Don't don't let yeah. us fool you. We go at it, but at the right. end of the day, we have the same goal, and we're brothers. Yeah. So we, uh, you know, eight to five, we fight. After five, it's it's all love and yeah. good. So. Last time I was there, which was like last month, because he's part of Team Tommy Mac, of course, he's our sausage company. And I go there, and I'm like, where's Phil? And he's like, oh, Phil's fixing this thing over by the ramp where the driver's <laughs> hit it. And Phil's out there with a the shovel and you know, a couple of guys. Yeah. And he looks at me, and he's like, yeah, you can tell who does all the yeah. – and then the pretty guy gets to go on TV. <laughs> and all that. He's a great man. He does. He's yeah. good. I'll yeah. tell you, saves a lot of money on oh, yeah. him fixing. He's, he's a brain about that stuff. Absolutely. Me, I'm uh, manicures and pedicures. These hands don't get too <laughs> gotta, dirty. Gotta keep the hands clean. Nah, I gotta baby. keep them clean, baby. For hand shaking, kiss some right. babies. Well, listen, man, great to have you. Good to be show. back, Daniel. Always a pleasure, and happy Thanksgiving to yeah, you absolutely. guys, man, to you and your family. All Same right. here. Fantastic you stuff, man. I'm serious. The Azar sausage is unbelievable. Make sure you check it out at your local grocery store, and you will thank me uh, more than once. There's no doubt about that. Until next time, y'all stay safe and be cool out there. And we'll see you right here on the Horses Mouth. Cheers. The team at Heritage Capital Group is special because it's a collection of people across the spectrum. We have people who have been in the shoes of owners that are looking to buy and sell and professionals that have executed transactions helping buy and sell companies for decades. I think when you talk to us, see what our experience is, see what our skills are, see the reach that we have, you'll be very happy with the recommendation.